Beyond the glistening rings of Saturn lies Enceladus, an enigmatic moon harboring secrets of potential life. In 2017, the Cassini spacecraft concluded its exploration, leaving behind a treasure trove of data. Welcome to the new episode of Viomology. Recent studies suggest that Enceladus possesses all the raw materials for life. Daniel Muratore, a postdoc at the Santa Fe Institute, leads a study unveiling intriguing findings about Enceladus Ocean. During its mission, Cassini detected geysers spouting through Enceladus' icy shell. The cosmic dust analyzer revealed a mix of chemicals, carbon dioxide, water vapor, carbon monoxide, nitrogen, hydrocarbons, and complex organics. The red field ratio, a fundamental principle in ecological theory, becomes crucial. It indicates a harmony between ocean water and plankton nutrients, a balance essential for life. The study introduces ammonia and inorganic phosphorus in Enceladus Ocean, aligning with the red field ratio, hinting at the moon's potential for life. Enceladus boasts a rich chemistry resembling life's building blocks. Amino acid precursors, ammonium, and hydrocarbons paint a canvas of potential biochemistry. Could Enceladus support methanogenesis? Earth's archaea, with similar conditions, thrive for billions of years. Biochemical modeling suggests compatibility with Enceladus Ocean. Yet, challenges arise. Despite high phosphorus levels, the red field ratio may limit Earth-like cells. Is there an incomplete biosphere or a recent origin of life? As we explore the potential for life on Enceladus, we realize that biosignature science evolves. The quest for life's unique chemical reorganization continues, pushing us to broaden our understanding of habitability in our vast cosmic neighborhood. Future missions that promise a deeper understanding of Enceladus, Europa, and the mysteries that lie beyond. Till then, be curious. Do let us know your thoughts in comments and keep watching, Viomology. Thank you.